Hello, and welcome to Shane's Microscope. I'm Shane, and this is my microscope. Let's take a peek. Today's sample checks back in on birdbath A. It's been reasonably warm for the last week, so I thought we would see how things are going in there. There was a lot of stuff floating in there. It might be algae. It might be bird poop. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, there's one way to find out, and that's by putting some on a slide and putting that under the microscope. So let's check it out. Now under the microscope, we've got a rotifer. <laughs> Swimming around. This is a bedelloid rotifer, which we can tell just from the way it's moving around. I think maybe it's settled down now enough to check in on more closely. Oh, there's a little one. And it looks like this one has an egg. We can see from the orange eye spots on its brain <laughs> whether or not it wants to hold still that this is of the genus Phyllodina. It really didn't want to hold still. <laughs> But here I noticed there was something behind it, and this looks like some kind of egg or cyst. There's definitely some movement inside of it. And here's some other egg or cyst, also with something moving inside of it, either growing or rehydrating. That's pretty neat. Well, to answer our question of what that stuff was floating around, this looks like a green algae of the genus Chlorophyta. They're just sort of clumped together in here. And that looks like uh, <laughs> those look like opercularia swimming around. I'm curious if they intentionally went out looking for better conditions, or if they had set up shop on the algae like that one there did, and the algae just ended up being so loose that when I scooped it up, <laughs> they were disturbed from their fixed positions. They can definitely swim around with those cilia on their head. And there goes another one. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> little collision there. As I was following this one swimming around, I noticed this other thing. And it turns out that this is actually a green algae, a chlorophyta of the genus Hematococcus. That comes from the Greek hema, blood, same as in hemoglobin, and often used to describe things that are reddish in color, and kokos for grain or seed to describe things that are spherical. And you can see it's actually got two flagella. Here's an opercularia that's decided to grab onto the slide. Get an interesting top view that I don't usually see. And then it shifted a bit so I could get a side view. And I thought this was very exciting. This here is a telotroch from the Greek telos end and trochos wheel. And the teletroch is a form of the opercularia that's designed for travel. They can move around using those cilia on their heads, but by growing this ring, they can move more efficiently. Oh, there. <laughs> As you can see, they're a little bit more spastic than the opercularia just moving around with their head cilia. Well, I thought it was really neat to be able to check back in on Birdbath A, see the things that are currently going in there. I was kind of surprised that we didn't see any hypo tricks, but it's possible I just didn't have them in this sample. You know, this is a very, <laughs> this is a very small amount of water that we're actually looking at here on the slide. And I was really excited to be able to catch an opercularia telotroch coming off of its stalk and swarming around. Alright, well I think we'll leave it there for the day. Thanks for having a look with me. Until next time, keep on peeking. <laughs>